video is going to be Technic related again, so tech freaks, stay tuned. This short video is going to be an unboxing video. So something just arrived here a few hours ago and that something is... So there was an Apple event one and a half weeks ago and my Apple slash tech addicted heart was pouncing harder when I saw a product and that product is what I'm happy to unbox with you now. So first there is the carton. Satisfying. What have I gotten in here? What is it? What is it? I'm so excited to unbox this new phone. Of course, I'm excited um, to test it out and find out more about the stunning technology. Um, I'm really looking forward for the new feature, which is the dynamic island, of course. But I'm also really curious to see the color because I got the newest color which is the deep purple and I have to say I'm not a big fan usually of purple but like I found in the video it was looking really nice. Sometimes it looks looked almost like a bluish gray so i'm really excited to see my new phone so in this video i'm just going to unbox it and set it up and show you what's on my phone and then in another video in the future i'm probably going to say more about the technology and my experiences with it but now, as beautiful as this packaging is, it's of course perfect as we know it from Apple, I really want to see my phone. So I'm just going to open the box now. Have to pull this little green thingy here, the green arrow. I haven't even looked at it. Wow, it's so amazing. Look at this, guys. It's so beautiful. I love it already. Um, I think what really pops out is the camera. It got even bigger, like, wow. And I really love the color. It's like this really dark purplish. It looks yeah almost like a gray color oh it's so stunning mm -hmm. so of course like you can see like it all so already was um with the iphone 12s and 13s here it's frosty and then here we have the glossy around um the camera lens and i really love that and also on the side it's um, glossy and um, now it's time I think to remove that and look at it from the front and immediately we can see, I mean it's hard to tell because my iPhone is black now but there is like no notch, only like this little camera dot on the top and then of course we can see here um, the speakers and then the charging port access and here we have the buttons to control the noise and here we have the power button then in the packaging we have 
just the cable and then we have the instructions and an apple sticker of course so here I just have a little comparison this is the iPhone 12 Pro and this is my new iPhone 14 Pro and we can see they have exactly the same size but what's definitely visible is the camera bump is um, wider and larger both at the same time and then of course we can see um, the notch is different and now I finally have the time to set up my new phone I'm so excited um, so I'm just going to set it up now it should be quite easy I guess because I can connect it with my old one um, and then I want to show you quick how I customized my screen um, with the new iOS 16 phone so I guess I just have to switch it on, push the power button. Here it's coming. Ta ta da da! Here it is. It says hello in all of the different languages. It's already amazing now. Look at this. This is the new iPhone 14 Pro I'm holding here. Um, so I guess I have to swipe up and now choose a language, we choose German, then I have to choose the country. So let's choose Switzerland here and here we have it. Now it sets up the language. Um, fast start. Should I do that? Now it says here um, it's going to take a few minutes to set up the iPhone. Um, oh, here it says continue. Oh, I have to program face ID. Um, so. Always so strange to do that. Okay, first scan ended. So now I can choose apps and data um, from the old iPhone. Um, transfer from the old iPhone, so that will be the easiest and fastest. Then I have everything from my old iPhone on my new one. So, so now I have to bring my iPhone and now you can see it immediately already says um, if you want to connect that one with the new one it's just awesome how easy this works that's what I love about Apple it's so easy and fast so now I have to hold my new phone here into the camera of my old one So guys, my phone is now all set up. It just took a few minutes. Um, basically, the setting up on its own went really fast. What took basically the longest was to update all of my apps that weren't updated. And um, now I'm just quick going to show you how like I made my phone look aesthetic. So let's start with my home screen this is my home screen so um, what you definitely need to do is 
download iOS 16 to be able to customize especially your lock screen. There are so many new cool options to do that. Um, so I'm quick going to show you how it works and how you can customize it. So let's start with you can tap onto the lock screen and then you can choose different options. For example, you can tap here and then you have so many different options like emojis, you can do astronomy, have the moon or the earth and then you have recommended ones. Um, you can choose a photo of course and um, I'm just going to use like an emoji one as an example now. So I can tap onto that. I can of course adjust it the way I want it to be. And then here, that's really cool. You can adjust how the time looks like. Like there are different fonts. I really love that about it. So I can choose one. For example, I choose this one. Then I can also choose the color of the fo fo font. Um, here I can choose even more font colors. And then I can also use the pipette if I want a specific color that's on my wallpaper. And then um, of course here I can add some widgets which is really cool. Here are just the widgets which are already there. For example, I can um, say it should say um, what kind of alarm I have or my fitness or my battery level. Um, there are just so many cool options. And then on top of here, you can also choose some installed ones from Apple, which is for example, the calendar, just the date or your fitness calorie measurements um, I think that's just so cool you can really have a personalized lock screen and um, then you can tap on edit and then it asks you whether you want to personalize your home screen too so I can go there and then I have like home screen original which means like you have the same wallpaper as you have on your lock screen or you can choose color then it chooses a color which is on your lock screen too or you can just choose any random color um, I can also choose um, faded it's kind of different colors of your lock screen mixed together or you can of course also choose a photo here so I'm just going to say original and then I hit done and now I can go on to here and use this as my um, lock screen. As you can see when we now open the phone we have the faded background and of course I here also have some widgets that I personalized. Um, you can do that with the Widget Smith app. I personalize them now in an autumn theme, of course. Um, yeah, and here's a picture of my dog because I just love my dog. I'm now going to change my background back to the um, autumn theme that I created. So I can just go over here and go on to that. Um, I just want to give you one more tip which is so if you want to have more widgets that you personalize on your own you have to go to the Widgetsmith app like you can see here and then there is a new feature which says lock screen so you want to go there and then you can add for example rectangular widgets like you can see them here with all kind of functions like there are so many possibilities you can also choose for example seam or photo and if you have like seam you have like faded standard or non and yeah there are just so many different possibilities and then of course you have the circular widget and then you have 
the long ones where you can write for example text like my live your dreams um just a tip of me like i couldn't do that first and i was like how can i do it and then someone in a youtube video to said to the people that they have to of course update the richard smith app in order to get this lock screen function because that's of course new um just one last thing how i create my widgets i often use like canva or pinterest to find cute fall pictures and fall quotes or stuff like that that was it with my video i showed you like the unboxing of my phone and um I showed you now a bit like how you can customize your phone, how you make it look aesthetic. iOS 16 also works with older phones, so that's no problem. And yeah, I'm really excited to um, try out my phone and share um, my impressions with you in a other video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give me a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and also share this video with other people. Bye bye. I'm going to see you later alligator.